Last time I was somewhere there. When my brother was falling here. His wife was home. You know, I've been thinking about it. <laughs> that if you speak something and say, this thing will happen this week. And <laughs> it does not happen. <laughs> it's very bad. Matata. You know, I'm, I'm just speaking, you know, I'm not saying anything. It's only when he reach home, he say, we have carried my wife to hospital. There's no oppression. I was just saying that, I said, there's no oppression, you give birth nicely. But, you know, if we just say, this thing will happen this week, and the person is pregnant, and it goes on Monday next week. <laughs> it doesn't happen. You know you are going to say what now? What are you going to say? Alright, I was in Botswana. There was no rain. So that time I said, this week, the rain is coming. There, there will be a rain. There will be a rain. And it's going to rain this week. One man came he just said, he is asking for Mercedes Bay. He's coming for Range Rover. I said, no, no, no. Range Rover, He says, he's asking for rain. I said, rain will happen this way. Ah, I knew people are looking. They say, I will show him. On Friday, rain starts. Saturday. It came. But they began to say, yeah. Because it was long time there was no rain. So if you go there and say this week, this thing will happen this week. I want to say that it's, it's not easy. I even know. In fact, I'm even praying that the prophets, when they prophesy, they must not mention a date. Unless if God told them. I'm sure you understand that. Because these people. They, hey, people are tired but of being promised this month will happen and nothing happens. They look at you and say, eh? this man is a... <laughs> because now, if you just prophesy, go what to do, and he didn't tell you the time, please. Because this, when I was thinking, when he was telling me that it's a message to me, I said, I knew this thing is going to happen. This it's week will happen. happen. But I said it here in the church. Now, think about pregnant, you can't dictate it. I mean, if you say the child is coming now, the child must come. If I say it this week, it must. It was Wednesday. And the child was born when? Friday. Friday. Thursday taken to hospital. So that's what I'm trying to say. If now we say this week, let's take us. You're going to get a job this week. <laughs> you don't get it. <laughs> hey, uh, so I'm saying this that please, uh, prophets, uh, they can see visions, they can hear from God. But let us not talk what God didn't show us. <laughs> If we prophesy, God wants to raise you. Don't say next year if God is in the same. Because these people, they count. Others, they are in sin. And if God delayed them, it's like you didn't see it, though you saw it. Prophets can see. But they can see and they can tell you this will happen. This will happen. But it's possible that God can change it. It's possible that God can change it. After what they saw, God can change it with a reason. Look here, for example, if God says he wants to make you a president, he, he can still decide and make this one a president. I'm going to decide that change. Though he show you this one, or he yeah, show you this one, so that you pray, because you hate him, and then you bring this one. I don't know if you're hearing me. Amen. If you say, okay, but I'm trying to say that we must be careful. On the issue of what? Dates. This prophecy, prophecy like of Elijah. I mean, there, there are few people like that. Okay, say, tomorrow this time, 
There will be a rain. And you see that rain. There are others who say, tomorrow this time there will be a rain. Go say, no, but I'm changing it now. And after you have spoken, yes. Okay, for example, what, what was happening to Isaiah? He was a, a renowned prophet. Go to this man. You are going to die. Set your house in order. Okay, you went out. You finished. Okay, t- when you went to the call, go say, Laping, go change the prophecy. Samo change as prophet of sale. The prophecy of pro change it. The prophet has less to change. Go say will add fifteen years. Mo jemo rota wokele chaming we fifteen. I mean, you are you look crazy, but you are talking what God is saying. Obona loa afama rovule dante mo jemo e bole ching. I think I think we need to learn the prophets also how they speak. Are you to take the kamu wa prophets? What they are saying. Rishumeri ya na kuwuche ba di bole lao. When they speak something. Is what they saw. Believe ah, them. Like That's what the Bible says. Believe the prophet. prophet. Believe them. Hallelujah. But tumele, amen. I'm not saying I'm a prophet. I say believe the prophets. I I'm just prophet. looking at you. I'm also looking at the body of Christ. Many prophets are saying this will happen. Okay, this will happen when when it doesn't happen. Now you are counting those prophets as false. No. You find that there's a reason. And it's possible that the same prophet can be told again. Come and change the prophecy. Or he was he was told, but he doesn't change it. Don't leave it as it is. Because whatever they speak, it's not from them. It's from Jehovah. I'm sure you understand that. Amen. How many of you are hearing me? You are hearing that. So don't insult prophets, because some of you say I've been prophesied, I will get a job. And I'm not getting a job. Ah, you, what do you want God to? What do you want the man of God to do? Do you want him to kill yourself so that you get a job? No, he spoke what he saw. Can I give you a word that will happen this week? Amen. Huh? Amen. Yeah, but you must believe. What if God changes it? <laughs> Can we all stand? We pray this prayer. I want God to help us today. I want us to God, God to give us grace today. I don't know if you're hearing that. I want God to help us. Like my brother. I mean, when the brother say he saw Prophet Fazai one, two, three. I mean, pray for the person and say, now this is the eyes of a prophet. Now this person can see now. Can you just prophesy now? The person prophesied. I mean, it doesn't just happen anywhere. It just needs the grace of God. To declare it.